You're making me blush. And those lips, you're totally gorgeous. Oh, shit. All right, yo, keep going, dog. Damn, we got another bad point. Oh. Some of those who are new to the channel probably haven't met Toby yet. This is Toby. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turk Van Gogh Games. I'm your host Turk Van Gogh. Welcome to the channel. As always, hit up my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash tvgg. Thank you to the previous supporters, the current supporters, and the new supporters. Without you, I cannot keep doing this. So thank you very much for joining. You guys are savages. I always try and bring you gameplay that's different from what everybody else is bringing you. Um, you may see some pretty big games on other channels and wonder why I don't play them. It's literally that. It's because they're playing them. There's no reason for me to um, overlap them. If you want to go and check out the, that video or that game, go check it out and show them show them some love. Let them know TVG sent you and says what's up. But I always want to play something different, something you're not really seeing on YouTube um, as much. And this game I played a long time ago. I want to say like a year ago on my channel, on my previous channels that were taken down by YouTube. But... Since they were taken down and since those videos are gone, I figured I'd step right into it um, anew. Since a new version came out, I think it's version 12.3 or something like that. Um, but the link will be down below on how to, to play it and how to support it. So just click on that link. Let them know TVG sent you. Donate to their Patreon and get the game. Uh, but yeah, we're going to jump right into this. Basically, it's a 2D visual novel. You're a good girl going bad. So you're um, presented with a bunch of situations. And if you choose a good way or a bad way, you get points from what I can remember. And you get good bad and bad, uh, good points and bad points, sort of like uh, Star Wars, where you're, uh, you get those uh, Jedi points or the Sith points. So we're going to test this out. We're going to see how it is. It's been a long time since I played this, so there should be a lot of updates. The artwork looks a little bit, um, even just the title screen looks a little bit better uh, drawn. So let's see how it works out. Um, as always, thank you again for tuning in. I love you all. I right, use the H key, which is pretty much standard on any visual novel. Ooh, let me change out the mouse real quick because people complain about the little clicking noises. I've been sick, guys. I've been getting over it, so. Oh, excuse me. All right, use control to skip through text. That's very nice to have. Sometimes games will tell you that, but you can't skip through it until you've been past it. So, like, you, if you have text that you want to skip through Chapter 1 and you've already played through Chapter 1, you'll be able to skip it. But if you've never played and you want to skip through the text, you're probably just going to have to click. But this game hopefully is different and allows you to skip text that you still haven't seen yet. My name is Ashley. I've always considered myself an easygoing girl, maybe a bit on the shy side, but nothing keeps me from smiling. I try to be happy and make those around me happy as well. That's why my life has been quite pleasant since I was little. Maybe I don't have as many friends as other people, but that's because I prefer staying at home, reading a good book or watching a movie, rather than going out all the time. Damn, so she kind of like a nerd. She kind of like a good girl nerd. And look, we got good points. We got 10. We got no bad points. We don't want to be bad, do we? Do we want to be bad? Of course we do. It's the name of the game. But I've never had too much trouble on getting along with other people. In fact, I have a boyfriend. His name is Eric. And we have been going out for two years since we both started college. So I'm kind of, so she's probably like what? She's 18. When you graduate, she's probably 20 years old. Let's say she's 20. Sometimes, only sometimes, I wonder what it would be like if things were different. I'm still young. Wait, assuming, assuming she started dating him like her first year of college. So she might be 21, I'm not sure. I'm still young and I have many experiences ahead of me. I'm sure some of them would be great, while others would be hardships. Oh, this bitch is, this bitch is kind of balanced. I like it. All right, we get it, girl. Oh, that's Eric. Do you have anything you need? Yeah, I got it on my bag. This is Eric, my boyfriend. Or my BF for the millennials. We met in high school and we were close friends for many years until he finally confessed to me. Uh oh, did he come out the closet? I had a crush on him for a long time and I guess he had one on me too. He's smart and pretty handsome too in my opinion. I mean he looked cool. He looked like he looked like um Superman's like dumb cousin. You know what I mean? A little bit. Like Superman's brother, you know, who didn't really work out. I felt attracted to his kindness and his smarts. He could be a little awkward at times, but that's part of his charm. I hope I don't have to talk like this the whole time. I probably do. <laughs> he has many hobbies and interests, and he's pretty passionate about them. 
Luckily, he's passionate about me too and treats me really well. Oh, that's so sweet. Is this their place? I mean, this is a big ass dorm. It's pretty nice. Oh, shit. Iris. Damn, look at Iris. She's kind of cute. A little flat, but she's kind of cute. Look at them legs. Oh. Let's just check out Iris real quick. She's definitely nice. She definitely pleases my Iris, you know? Where are you two going? We're meeting up with Ava and her boyfriend at the gym. The gym? That's nice. My brother has been getting a little fat lately. Look who's talking. Laying on the sofa all day, watching TV. Well, I can afford to. I'm pretty hot already. You should try picking up a book sometime, little sister. It might help fill that empty head of yours. Screw that. That's so boring. I don't understand what you guys find amusing about reading those dull text piles. I mean, you could, you could rock it on Kindle. You could rock it on your iPad. Swip, you know, swipe. It's not hard. And we don't get what fine. I mean, I don't read. I don't know why I'm talking shit. I mean, I read this shit. I mean, this is as much reading as, 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 this is as much reading as I'll ever do in my life right here. These games. I read porn games all day. And we don't get what you find amusing about these crappy TV, reality TV shows. Oh, it's easy. Take a look. Oh, damn. I leaned towards the TV and I saw a typical run-of-the-mill reality talk show where a bunch of hot but simple-minded people argue about their lives. Those type of shows were very popular and Iris, Eric's sister, was really into them, specifically into the guys that appeared on them. At that moment, one of them was arguing about something sexual with the girl and then he removed his shirt for some reason unknown to me, probably to blatantly just show off. Damn, dog. This guy looks like he could fuck Aquaman up. Looks like Aquaman's brother. Body was like... Like that of a Greek statue with muscles chiseled all over his torso and arms as if he were made of marble. I mean, he's on steroids. That kind of body could only be achieved with crazy hours at the gym and steroids. And some pretty lucky Jenna and steroids. The tattoo gave his looks a bit of savage and dangerous touch. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess, I don't know if these should give you points, but I could tell you what. If you just double click on your mouse, meaning click left and click right, click right at the same time, you can just save it. And you can always go back and change um, a decision if you feel like you chose the wrong one. I don't know if this has multiple endings. I'm pretty sure it does. Or multiple um, uh, paths to a situation. And I'm pretty sure it does from what I can remember. So save it frequently and save it in different spots in case you want to go back and see what the other outcomes can be, okay? Keep that in mind. That's just a key to all of these games is to save it always. Otherwise, you're going to go back and start over. All right, well, we could say I don't like that type of cocky guy. I mean, we'll, we'll just go that way. See, it gives you one bad point, takes away one good point. So we're already turning a little bad. And I don't know if I should read all of the, um, I don't know, maybe you guys can comment below. Do you guys like when I read every single piece of dialogue? Or do you like when I skip a little bit and move a little ahead? Um, I'm more of the latter. I like moving a little ahead, skipping some of the dialogue, just because reading it is so tedious sometimes. But some of you purists out there who want to get the full effect and be immersed in the game, probably want me to read everything. So please let me know. I'm curious in the comments below what you guys think. Look at that body. So hot. He's like a Greek god or something. What? This is when you like that kind of guy. We all like that type of guy, silly. Well, I don't know that guy. I'm just saying he's pretty jacked. That must be hard to accomplish. Well then, we should get going to the gym as soon as possible. Yeah, Ava and Dave must be waiting for us already. Okay, let's go. All right, so I kind of remember this. We go to the gym. We meet the other friends. I kind of missed it, you know, being active. I'm glad Ava suggested we come. You're still in shape. You being part of that gymnastics club in high school still shows. I mean, she does. I mean, she's she a little skinny, but she's got a very nice body. It's like, uh, it's nothing wrong with it. Not at all. They look exactly the same. She got a little bit more abs than she does. And she goes to the gym all the time. What are they doing? What, are they just coming here and fucking watching TV? What are they doing? Hey, guys. This is Ava, my best friend. We've been friends since we were kids, and we would look a lot alike. Do they? Do they look a lot alike? We like the same things, have similar personalities. We even choose the same career, and now we are classmates in college. Her boyfriend, Dave, was also a classmate of ours in high school. We started dating around the same time as Eric and I. Dave a nice guy. Dave is a nice guy, charming and polite, but sometimes he tends to keep to himself. I guess that's normal. I guess, uh, or since he's studying fine arts, and okay, whatever. But he can be playful, too. Okay, great. How you guys doing? Long time no see. Okay, let's, I mean, she's going to say hi to her girl no matter what. How you doing? Okay, what should we do? Let's go lift some weights over there. You guys do that. We girls will hop on a stationary bikes or something like that. Okay, cool. Eva and I had a good workout. Almost forgot how good it feels to move around and burn calories. So how's everything? What do you mean? There's not much I can tell you. We see each other almost every day. You know everything that happens to me. Same with me. Are we getting boring or what? Gosh, I hope not. Uh-oh. When women get bored, you better fucking make them happy. Otherwise, they're going to go find something to do. Or they'll resent you. It's like that. I mean, I've been with my girl for four years now. I can't believe it's been four years. But um, it's getting to the point where it's not. We just both get bored at the same time of, of the environment. We're not bored of each other. It's just the environment. But um, you can tell in her eyes, it's like 
she's just over it, you know? She's over who I am, like what I'm good at, my talents, all that shit. My drawing doesn't impress her, you know, my shooting doesn't impress her, this doesn't impress her, none of this shit. But in the beginning, it did. So that just goes to show you, no matter who the fuck you are, whoever you're dating will eventually get used to you. It's just the way it is. Uh, we can celebrate, blah, blah, blah. All right, you know what? Let's just keep going. Now I'd be jealous. Yeah, show me. Okay, show me. Damn, yo. That's her body. Her body's nice. Look how thick. Look, I like when the, when the girls bend down, their, their shit gets thick. You see that a lot on Instagram. Mm. Um, it's beautiful. You look like a slut. It looks, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's really beautiful. Dave sure is talented. I know, right? After la- uh, <laughs> I absolutely love his drawing. I feel like he's some kind of muse. I'm sure you really are. Oh, I'm sh- she's okay. I can't fucking read. Well, not really. He used a sexy picture I sent him to make the drawing. Woohoo! Sexting, sexting much? You're a kinky lady, my friend. Not really. Everyone does it, don't they? Besides, there's trust between us. Yeah, I'm sure it's not going to end up on Pornhub. You know, on those Snapchat compilation videos of all the shit you send your boyfriends. Girls, stop Snapchatting yourself. You know he's showing his friends. Trust me, they, we show everybody. Is everything okay with Eric? Yes, of course. Why do you ask? I'm not implying anything, just asking. Everything is good as ever. I'm glad. Me and Dave are good too. You don't have to tell me. It shows you two make a great couple. Yes, I'm very lucky to have him. You and Eric look great together too. Um, I love him very much. Oof. Damn, so you know what? Since good girl, girl, girl gone bad, let's just go bad. You know what I'm saying? We haven't met. Should be met that many people yet. And who knows? Maybe one of these days I will meet a man who will make me forget about Eric. Are you being serious? Not really, just speculating. I guess anything can happen after all. But I'll, I doubt I'll meet someone better than Dave. Yeah, he's handsome and very artistic. I would love to have a boyfriend who could draw me. That's so romantic. Too bad he's my boyfriend and not yours. Okay, just blah fucking blah. Let's go. Okay, you never cheat on you. I mean, let's just let's just keep going with this. Let's just go crazy. Um, yeah, and if they're hotter than you, Dave might fall for them. You know how men are, right? Dave isn't like that. Tell yourself that. This is so not like her, by the way. Just me reading this, it just doesn't feel like this is the character. Uh, I feel like I'm reading like a, a script of Jersey Shore or something. So the guys come back. Now we go back to school. Classes have ended. Hey, there you are. How was class? Don't make me think about it. Teacher already scheduled an exam for next week. Oh, shit. Okay, Jessica. Okay, Jessica, I think, is the bad influence who uh, kind of gets everything started, if I can remember correctly. Ugh, I don't want to read all of this. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, not her again. This girl is Jessica. She's the most popular girl in our class, and we probably, and probably in the others, too. We met in high school, and she already was the queen of the high back then. We weren't really friends, as did not... As we just did not have much in common. But we really weren't enemies either. She just did her thing and I did mine. You know what I'll do? I'll kind of go through it. If there's points that we need to read, I'll read them. You pretty much will get the point though. We'll come to situations. Will we pick the good one? Will we pick the bad one? That's just the way it is. I don't want to spend a month on this game. Because I got to make, you know, 15 or 20 minute clips. Because that's all Minds.com accepts. If anybody wonders why I make, you know, don't make longer clips, I can certainly make an hour, two, three hour clips. I don't care. The problem is um, where I post the uncensored versions, the only website that accepts my uh, uncensored versions are, well, there's two of them. There's Pornhub and there's Minds. Pornhub, I cannot put direct links on YouTube. YouTube will take the videos down. They'll take the, they'll take the channel down. I cannot put Pornhub links into, into, into Patreon. Patreon will take it down. So I have to use... Pay Pornhub for people who want to see it and for exposure. And then Minds.com is for the people who are on Patreon. Click on that and they go to Minds. So it's a direct private link to Minds, whatever. Minds only accepts 15-minute clips. It's just because it's a new website. You know, they, they got to limit their bandwidth and it's, you know, it's, it's emerging. It's hopefully going to become big enough to where it can compete with YouTube. I don't know. But for now, it's only 15 minutes. So for that... For that, that's the reason. So that's the reason I kind of skim through games because I don't want to spend so much time on them because I want to play something different eventually. So can I talk to you? All right, sure. What do you need? Your sweetheart. Have you done the essay for Professor McGregor? Okay. Okay. Uh, no. Damn, that was so close. Say, would you let me take a look at your essay? All right, let's see. Should we let her do it? Yeah, let's help her out. Shit. I mean, who cares? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's college. It's, it's expensive. You might as well help your homies out. Keep your enemies close. What is it? Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. All right. So she says, thank you. Um, Eva's, Eva doesn't agree with it. She doesn't deserve it, she says. She never did her homework in high school either. But when she asked some poor, poor nerds and they did it for her. Okay. 
I mean, I don't know. If, have you guys ever dealt with that? Have you ever had like a hot chick ask you for your homework or, or some dude or some bully ask you for your homework? I'm trying to think if it happened to me. A lot of people ask me in art class to do shit for them just because I could draw. I, I see what you did with the backgrounds though. I don't know if this is like legal. Like you, you just took the backgrounds and put a filter on them. And I think that was my gripe with this last time was the backgrounds were just taken from Google's Google images or whatever and then just kind of put a filter on and made it look cartoonish. I don't know if it's kind of lazy, but hey, I know these games take a long time. I'm just saying out of the in the future for your protection, you might want to cover these up. Okay, we should look for something for his birthday. Oh shit. How do I go back? All right. Uh, can you ask, ask your parents for money? He wants to travel. Let's buy him a um, clothing store. We can buy him a video game because I love video games. We went to the video game store and after looking around for a bit, I chose a game for Eric. I hope he likes it. It was Jessica, accompanied by a very tall, muscular guy. He looked familiar. It took me several seconds to recognize him. I'd seen him on TV on that show Iris was watching the other day. Jessica's eyes met mine and she recognized me. Oh, hello. I was going to say, say hello. Hey, Ashley, what are you doing here? I was shopping for a present for my boyfriend and you. I'm just hanging around my friend Jack. Hey, beautiful. You're Jessica's friend? Yeah, I'm Ashley. I'm Jack. As Jess just said. <laughs> nice to meet you. He smiled and kissed me on both cheeks. His eyes looked straight into mine with an intensity I've never seen before. Maybe even have that. You know, instead of just having them stand there, like you just copy them out of like a drawing manual. Maybe have them in different positions, like kissing her on the cheek. Just a suggestion. I know it feels like I'm talking a lot of shit about this. And, you know, I don't have my own game to, you know, to, to compare. But that's something I would do is trying to make it more more immersive. And it just looks like you copy these figures out of a drawing manual and you just put a background and you're asking people to pay for that. You know, it just bothers me a little bit, but I still appreciate the game. Sometimes uh, developers get offended when I criticize their games. Okay, nice to meet you, too. She's such a sweetheart. See, totally. Jack said that without lifting his eyes for me. He had not this entire time. Damn, he's got eyes for her. So you're smart and beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't be modest. You're quite pretty for a nerd. I mean, such an intellectual girl. Jess is right. Okay, I saw you on TV, Jack. Let's just get let's just get dirty. Are you a fan? Well, I suppose. Well, I happen to see you by chance. My boyfriend's sister was watching the TV show. Don't believe everything you see on that show. It's all staged. I've starred in a couple of episodes, but it's just a side thing that I'm doing. I have a variety of things going on. Jack's very attractive. He's doing all kinds of things. Oh, well, that's good. Anyway, I have to go. It's getting late. Okay. Jack smiled at me, and I felt his eyes were reaching into the deepest recesses of my brain, seeing all my thoughts, fears, and insecurities. Goddamn. Why would she be so scared? You're very nice. Don't you think so, Ashley? Okay, sure. We can meet sometime. Fuck it. We just got a bad point for that, too. Give me your number, and we'll talk. No problem. Damn, we gave him, <laughs> we gave him our number. It would suck if, that, if you were her boyfriend. I mean, I, I know that, but it's just a game. So, Here's another stock image with a filter on it. I'd feel a little bit better if I knew the developer took these images himself or herself. The weekend finally came and it was time for me and Eric to celebrate his birthday. Plan was to have a romantic dinner. Okay, let's go. That's um, Eric's dad. Good evening, Ashley. Please come in. You don't have to be so polite. I told you to call me Arthur. I'd rather use Miss Thompson. Oh, shit. If that's what you really want. Oh, I want many things, but all of them could be deemed appropriate. Woo! I wouldn't mind if you called me Daddy, for example. Daddy? It makes our relationship feel closer. Okay, see, I don't know if he's just being nice or if that's creepy. I can't, I can't tell by the tone. All right, if that's what you want, I'll call you daddy. He he. Woo! I stepped into the living room and Eric's dad shut the door behind him. Where's Eric? He's still in the bathroom grooming himself. He should be ready in a minute. I see you are as pretty as ever. That's not true. Ah, youth, such a treasure. Too bad you'll end up spending it where, uh, whether you want it or not. Okay. You have to make every moment count. Don't waste it like an old dinosaur like me. That's. Sweet daddy. I like the sound of that. Um, wish I was young again. I could date a girl stunning as you. Damn, this guy is really throwing game at me, man. And I really like those charming green eyes of yours. You're making me blush. And those lips. You're totally gorgeous. Oh, shit. All right, yo, keep going, dog. Damn, we got another bad point. Oh. Some of those who are new to the channel probably haven't met Toby yet. This is Toby. Um, he's my little man. He's the CEO of the channel and the company. So he owns everything. He runs everything. He gets to go out and party and have fun and go to clubs and hang out with girls. And I don't. I get to stay home and make these videos. Um, but he's cool. He doesn't really talk much. He gets a little shy in front of the camera. But why don't you say hi, Tobes? Here you go. Step up here. There you go. Say hi to everyone. 
Tell everybody you got a new haircut. <laughs> it looks like he has blackface on. If I don't give him an attention, he, uh, he gets uh, a little frustrated and he'll start making noise while I'm making videos. He knows every time I start making videos, every time I sit in this chair, he'll start throwing a fit and making noise in the background and it's really annoying. Keep going, please. I like those compliments. He reached out with his hand and caressed my hair gently. Whoa. See, you should have that animation, man. Your hair is beautiful as well and soft, as is your skin. When he said that, his hand caressed my cheek, sliding slowly down my neck. Daddy, what are you doing? I wish I was your daddy. He sounded awfully serious. Maybe I took it too far, having mistaken his intentions for a joke. Saying such nice things to me, I could keep going all day. We looked at each into each other's eyes. His, eye his were close to mine. I didn't know what the hell was going on with him, but the situation was getting serious. Hey, I'm ready. Eric came down the stairs and kissed me on the lips. Happy birthday, Eric. Thanks, my love. Let's go to the restaurant. I have a present for you. I like it, but this is a PS4 game and I have an Xbox One. Oh, I'm so silly. I messed up. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Being with you is the greatest present I can ask for. I mean, they can just ex exchange it. It's not like she opened it, did she? Okay, later, Ashley. Eric's dad wrapped his hand around my waist and kissed me goodbye on the cheeks. Damn. It took longer than one would normally take, and his eyes were fixed on my ass as I turned back and left. All right, we got, we got to get even more bad in this game just because I want to see what happens. We had a great time. I put it in the comments below if you guys want to see what happens with that situation. I personally very much want to see it. Oh, and go to the Patreon in case, you know, we see some uncensored stuff. It's going to be all there. So, patreon.com slash tvgg. The food was delicious and so was the company. Okay, so we enjoyed the meal. There's, see, there's not a lot of animation. Like, like there should be more, more stuff, but whatever. I'm sorry your present was a failure. I don't mind. That's not what's important to me. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm not in the mood tonight. Let's just go hard. I need you inside me now. Whoa. Okay, damn. She's skinny. She practically, I practically ripped my clothes off. I need to get banged. I wasn't normally like this, and Eric was visibly surprised. I don't really know what got into me, but I was eager. I don't know if it, what happened with Eric's dad had anything to do with it. Oh, shit. But I felt more excited than normal. Take off your clothes. All right, look, he's already excited. <laughs> Set it free. All right, here we go. We got some scenes right there. Speaking of, if you want to see this uncensored, it's patreon.com slash tvgg. I definitely like the artwork. It's almost as if you're seeing like a real person. You know how they do that, like that that filter of cartoon? It looks like that. It looks like a person with a filter of cartoon over them. I pushed Eric on the bed and climbed on top. Whoa, you were sure proactive today. Didn't want your birthday didn't want your birthday present, so shut up and bang. Okay, she put it in. You guys can read this stuff. She started moving it to make a better experience. Eric said, Not so loud, my dad might hear me. Okay, F your dad. Oh, okay. So we can either say screw her dad or screw his dad. Or we can say, oh, okay, let's save it. Hold on. 